Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews and today I always go above and beyond and today I'm doing a wine all right those of you who are new <clears throat> real quick hit the subscribe check out my playlist I do all kinds of great beverages but today I'm doing a basically a Russian wine from Georgia and I don't mean the state of Georgia in the United States I mean Georgia in the Soviet Union all right it used to be part of the Soviet Union Moranuli you know, I don't speak Russian, so give me a break. Uh, Sitska, it's T-S-I-T-S-K-A. That is the type of grape, okay? Um, it says on the um, dry white wine, let me just show you. The label's kind of beat up. I've been storing it a while. And it's got a little wrinkly in things. Um, Georgia, the place where, dang, it says, it says 9,000 years ago. Wine was born in the ancient villages of the Caucasus. Okay. Uh, there's some uh, Russian writing. Oh, let me show you the back. Very interesting. This here is in Russian. But then they have English under it, and it says, um, This dry white wine is made from Sitska grape variety, which is cultivated in western Georgia. More Russian stuff. Pale straw color. Um, see if it says what they suggest we eat it with uh, not on here 12% uh, ABV 17 oh, okay uh, September 17th 2016 well so I couldn't just let that go I mean what the hell kind of grape is that it's from Russia so a little bit just give me a second here um, let me see here so I looked this up real quick. Can I make it quick? Huh? Alright. As the birthplace of winemaking, the country of Georgia is home to more than 500 varieties of indigenous grapes. That's pretty cool. Roughly one sixth of the world total grape varieties. I didn't know any of that. Georgia's vineyards include endangered vines found nowhere else on earth. Today, some vineyards featuring living vine libraries. Uh, feature living some vineyards feature living vine libraries where visitors can sample rare grapes. This is exciting because um, um, eventually a lot of these grapes may be moving into the uh, you know becoming mainstream, and so who knows what cool varieties and flavors are awaiting us? All right, so. Doesn't really say uh, much about the grape. I should have wrote it down. I don't want to waste a lot of your time. Let's get right to tasting it. If you can find this, now I found this gold, uh, you know, normal store. Okay, no big fancy store. Uh, they had a, a you know section, and I saw this, and I was like, well, I've got to. Uh, you know, I can't pass up <laughs> a Georgian wine. Right? I say Soviet Union, but Georgian. I believe they got their independence um, not too long ago. So. Uh, Kind of, you know, this cell uh, I just used is a waiter's corkscrew. I don't know if any of you ever seen it. A lot of times it comes with a little foil cutter, all right? And this one has one. So you put that there if, if the foil is hard to get off and you just, and it takes the, uh, you know, cuts the foil off the top. And then um, you put this in, you know, you, you, you screw it in. And then when you get to this part on the bottle, you use it as leverage anyway. A lot of waiters carry it. It's easy. It goes right in your pocket, right? Let's see, this one is from Talon Winery, one that I. Uh, it's in Kentucky, and I have done a few of their wines. They're very good. All right, let's try this rare. Ooh, it's got a nice, pleasant smell to it. And typical of the light color, I'm getting floral, okay, floral smell. But I'm also getting like the fruits that would match this color, believe it or not, like uh, apples, green apple, uh, pear, stuff like that. Let me see if I can get any peach or nectarine or anything. I could see where someone, I think that the description of most people would fall into green apple, pear, peach, 
somewhere along there, okay? I'm not smelling peach, but I could see where someone might say they smell. It's got a floral smell, so all those smells, everybody's smells a little different. And that's about it, just a nice floral, fruity. Little vegetative, little veget, uh, vegetative. Vegetative? What the heck? I can't talk today. Like veggie tables? <laughs> Vegetables? Yeah, some type of like vegetables, green vegetables. Alright, let's uh. Ooh, I like that. You know what I like about this one? got some medium to medium high acid which is what you taste on the side of your tongue kind of like when you bite into a lemon I like that because that's refreshing and that would cut through a lot of uh, fatty foods or like seafood and it's always refreshing that's why lemonade and stuff like that is so refreshing why they add acid to soda and everything else it also has a very fruity almost a sweet and then it's dry wine is there's, there's no it's not a sweet wine but when you first get it in there you almost can pick out some of the, the, the like the sweet flavors the fruit and it's very fruity and it's very pleasant and then as you swallow it uh, that continues and then after it's done the uh, finish uh, on the back of the tongue is kind of that dry little bit of tannic um, which bounces out the acidity and the perceived, in my opinion, sweetness of the fruit and, and floral. Mm. You know, I bought this actually in a liquor store in New Jersey. I live in Kentucky. I'm gonna look here. I haven't seen these Georgian wines here. Um, this is actually and it wasn't expensive. I don't remember what it was, but I don't remember it being real expensive. Okay, I'd let you know if I do a real expensive one. I generally don't. I, I generally do things that we can all afford. Because if you're a billionaire, you could still afford this. <laughs> so, <laughs> but if you can only afford this, why well, do a billionaire? Every once in a while, I will do an expensive, fancy one. But generally, I do stuff we can all get our hands on that we can all generally afford. Um, this would make a nice gift. Let me tell you why. It's, it's, it's unique. Okay, if you come to somebody's house with this, if they're into wine a little bit, they've probably never had it. Never had this grape, never had anything from this part of the world. So that's exciting for someone who enjoys wine. It's exciting for me when I saw it. It's exciting for me to, to taste it and to do this review. So you're really bringing over something cool and unique. Uh, furthermore, it's it's good enough to where I would, I would um, I'd get a good six bottles of it. Not saying something for me because doing all these reviews, I don't tend to drink anything more than once because I'm always looking for the next review um, but this is a this is a good and and what's good about this is it's not only good in my opinion as a sipper just by itself but it would be excellent with food it would be good with man I'm thinking seafood this would be perfect hmm oh man crab cakes fish Stuffed clams, all that stuff, man. All that stuff. Oysters. I love it. Oh, you know what I'd love to do? I would love... The review's over. You can leave if you want, but stick around. I, can. I would love to be on vacation. So this is what this reminds me of. And you're on vacation somewhere, and you're overlooking the ocean, or you're overlooking a river or a bay. Okay? Hopefully a bay or an ocean. And you've got this, man, real nice at your table, right? the waiters brought it hopefully you're having it a dinner with fine company and you're having the seafood that I mentioned and you're relaxed because you're on vacation and you're sipping this wine which is going to taste even better of it because when you drink stuff on vacation it's always better um, and that's what this see how wine can bring you to places happy places and that's really what uh, what this, this reminds me of. But now, last time I'm, I'm at my house. So what I think I'll do is I'll go out back. I've tried to make the best paradise I can out there for the middle of Kentucky. 
And uh, those of you that watch my channel, I have a playlist. You know I have a fish pond. And I've I got some uh, Anirondack chairs that I painted different colors with a colored umbrella. I try to make it look as beachy as possible. I grew up on the beach. Right? I miss it. Uh, so I'll go out there. It's getting to be autumn. And, um, and I'm going to sip it and enjoy it. And that's the best I can do. Maybe I'll... Uh, I'll throw a little seafood on uh, tomorrow. Right, I'll drink a glass of this tonight and tomorrow I'm going to have this with some seafood. I'm not sure what. I'll go to the grocery and see what they have. Um, I just had salmon and shrimp yesterday, actually. <laughs> but I'll pick something else out. And uh, So anyway, thank you for sticking around and listening to me uh, rattle on. Don't forget, give me a subscription, please. And check out my playlist. I'll have the white wine playlist attached to this video. But you should check out my playlist, especially this time of year because I have one that's holiday playlist and it's going to give you some fun stuff for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, gifts, just if you have company, if you go somewhere, just fun, good stuff that I've bought and reviewed over the years for you all and put it in a nice playlist. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody, thank you for being here and I will see you on the next one.